I make this mic more than Dave does, but way taller than him. Dave could do this, but I have to stay like this. So, pardon my lack of enthusiasm. And uh, I wrote this bit today, so it sucks. Oh well. So, uh, I, I had a new look the other day. I was brushing my teeth, and uh, I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, I need to check my Facebook. <laughs> I continued to brush my teeth as I was on my computer for five minutes and just like toothpaste and like drool going down my mouth I was like, yeah, I like that stuff. It's good. <laughs> like, good thing I don't own a car because like I'd be driving and be like, I need to tie my shoelaces right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, bit one. <laughs> Too. Uh, I think that uh, Buddhism is like the douchiest religion. Like, it's just like, yeah, whatever. Be nice, I guess. You don't have to be an asshole. And then if you are an asshole, you come back as a rat. And then once you're a rat, you're done. You're not. You're not being a human again. No rat is nice. All rats are assholes. Like, I've never met a rat who's like. Good day to you, sir. Here's a twenty dollar bill. No rat has done that ever. Only humans have done that. And they rarely do that. I feel like the, the religion was just like you saying bolt and they were running a race and then they got to the finish line and they're like, I need to check my Facebook real quick. Yeah, they tie the jokes together. <laughs> show because I wrote it prior. But I wrote this today because I didn't want to spoil the show. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up we have Jonah. Yes! yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's wearing two sweatshirts. Yep. Hey guys. Hi. Um, yeah. It doesn't go higher than this. Um, yeah. So, like Pat Dave, I was not very good with girls in high school. Uh, um, <laughs> So the sophomore year of high school, when I was a sophomore, um, I was in jazz band, I played guitar. And uh, there were some juniors in jazz band who had a funk band called the Mother Funkers. <laughs> and um, I didn't really know them at all, and I was a really shy kid. And uh, they, uh, one uh, girl, Nancy, comes up to me and she goes, hey, do you want to join our funk band? And I didn't really know them, and I wasn't so confident in my playing, so I said, ah, no, not really. And then, uh, or, no, no, thank you. <laughs> so then one day while I'm in gym class, my friend texts me and says, Hey, Nancy says that Allie will give you a hand job if you join the band. <laughs> so I thought about it. <laughs> and I thought, I really have no reason to say no now. <laughs> Why not? So I said, okay, yeah. Um, and then, so it's, they're like, all right, practice is next week. <laughs> so I'm like, so the, the entire week, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was super, super excited. And um, so the day of practice comes around, and I think, if we're all going to be in practicing in Nancy's basement, when and where is this hand job going to happen? <laughs> so I thought it'd be a good idea to ask Allie. <laughs> so I texted her. So what's up with this? <laughs> so she didn't text back for a while. So I was sort of nervous. And then she texts back. And, um, and I look at it, and it's just like, ha 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 ha
that was that was it. I'm like, what? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a hand job. What? <laughs> Nancy just offers people hand jobs for me to get them to do stuff. <laughs> so now I'm in that band. <laughs> Oh, 
come back next week, guys, for It's Not Cocaine, Celebrity Edition.
All right, yeah, wow indeed. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is pick your bait. You're going to want to pick bait that fishes are going to like. So like butterflies and rainbows? <laughs> no, son. No bitch is going to grab a butterfly. Rainbows are abstract concepts. <laughs> <laughs> Take this for example. This is a coffee cup. And inside of this coffee cup is a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Great bait because it's seasonal and there are bitches swimming all over it. I've prepared one for you. Ask the line and wait for a bite. <laughs> you know, this is, uh, this is how I met your mom. <laughs> oh, 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 get it! Oh, get it! Oh, oh. oh. I got a boo. Oh, that's okay. We all catch boots once in a while. Just means some bitch is missing a boot and she's gonna want it back. So how long have you been fishing for? Well, son, ever since I had you, I haven't been able to fish. But before that, I was the best bitumen on the block. You <laughs> name it. Water, salt water, I was tough. Oh, got a bite? Oh, 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 whoa, Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> First lesson, son. Just because you catch one doesn't mean you gotta keep it. Er? Too small. That sounds so complicated. It's all right, son. Soon you'll learn the tips and tricks, and then you can teach your son one day, and you'll have this moment when you're a father. Unless you need to be in your day. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's good, son, real? Oh, wow! Wow! All right, let's put that. Oh, that's good. Get her in the bucket. Don't touch me! No! Good job, son, good job. Take a so I can show a friend. Pick her up! Her. I mean, like, if I can, I might be able to catch her. Does your place have Wi-Fi? Oh, wow! <laughs> I sure do! Oh, that's oh. my boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Bob! Oh, my God, Yes, you've come to the right place, my child. Take a seat. Oh, yeah, I want to hear some good news about my future. Yes, your future is only for $20. 20 bucks? Oh, yes, you for you? Only 15 Okay, sure. Tell me something good about my future. Now, first, let me see your hand. Oh, uh, I didn't know this was a palm reading session. Yes, yes. I see you were eating a hot dog. Go on. <laughs> With ketchup! Whoa! You know, I just bought this hot dog with ketchup from that stand up the street. I think I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course, and uh, that'll be $20. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's an eye, my child. Come take a seat. Okay, I was hoping you could tell me something about my love life. Yes, uh, let me just look at my crystal ball. Uh, uh, I see that you are married. <laughs> oh my god, my god. Yeah. You just got married last week. I <laughs> might be your rescue. <laughs> love is beautiful, my dear. So, do you think he's the one? Are actually uh, yeah, yeah, he's one of them. Uh, <laughs> yes, in my crystal ball, my dear, I see several men in your future. Oh. Oh, good for you. Okay. <laughs> you missed it. Jason's not the only one for me? You I mean, win. I'm trying to help you and you don't believe me? Oh, oh no, I believe you. Yeah. In fact, I'll go divorce Jason right now to prove it. Thank you so much for talking. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm here for, my child. Hi, are you the medium? Yes, yes, come, pick a card off the table. Okay, so I just pick any card. Any card? 
Like any card at all? Yes, really, any card. Okay, uh, this one. Okay. You know, maybe you don't buy this fortune telling stuff, but there's this dead relative that I really wanted to mom to. Okay. What? Oh my god. What? What is it? What's wrong? Uh, your great, 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 great <laughs> grandfather's gotta be dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I want to speak to! <laughs> I'm like, if you're in his right now! Really? Yeah! <laughs> I'm real good at what you do! Yes, yes, and uh, that'll be $20. Wait, that's it? Yeah! yeah. I, oh. I don't get speak. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry. There you go. This is a red ball! Oh. You're crazy and you're not gonna get your money! I gotta go report this place! If I can't talk to my great 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 grandfather George right now! Oh, whoa, whoa. Just don't, don't do that. For you, only $15. Okay. The more you telling with that is Dottie, it's me, your great 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 grandfather George. No, Claire, where the fuck is he? I'm gonna tell him where the money's buried. <laughs> Sorry, George. For you, that'll be twenty dollars. Great neighborhood, but you're moving there for all the wrong reasons. 
Or maybe we can just have him play with Barbie dolls. Or get him a rainbow blanket while you're at it. That's genius. Thank you, doctor. What have I done? <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much, doctor. I'm the gayest baby ever. <laughs> Super skinny jeans, wax himself in the whole nine yards. Eli, Eli. <laughs> Where's my grandson? I got him G.I. Joe's and Playboy magazines. Get out of here, Dad! We don't need your heteronormativity. <laughs> <laughs> you were straight, I was straight, my father was straight, his father was straight. I'm not gonna let you ruin that with your heterosex uh, homosexuality. <laughs> no! I'm gonna raise my son to be more! It'll never work. There can never be a gay Mueller. You try it. Oh, make out! Make out! <laughs> Dad, 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 Dad. 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 Your baby is ready and here to see you. from the audience. Can I get a volunteer? Uh, how about you right there in the blue shirt? Yes. Fuck your 
yourself. Water is short. All right, the video. Go, go, go. Picture of my privates being sent to me, and thus they leap by my personal secretary. For this, I am deeply sorry. I apologize for my wife, my children, my secretary Claire, and the entire state of New Jersey. This is not the action becoming of a congressman. But I mean, come on, what's the big deal? Guys are guys. Guys are gonna send pics of their dicks to secretaries. I sent one to my assistant Gary. He sent some back. Not a big deal. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is everybody's got a dick. Man, woman, child, everybody's got one. I think the real problem here is that sexism or sexual harassment is confidence. That's a joke. I would send a pic of my badge. Just try to be proud of the goods the Lord gave me. <laughs> it's natural. It's normal. Seriously, look at my dick. It's beautiful. I got a dick. You got a dick. We all got dicks. Just don't be a dick. That's all we can really ask for. And that's what my entire political platform is all about. I stand for an America where we can show our dicks. Where we can show our dicks to anyone, anywhere, on any social media platform. That's the freedom our forefathers fought for. That's my declaration of independence dance. My bill of, oh yeah. It's not about DC politics, it's about DC politics. It's about your God given right to be free and to free your people. It's not about the dick on the outside. It's about the dick on the inside. Thank you for your time and support. Remember, vote for me in the upcoming elections. Anthony Cockerball is 2014.
Rich Gregory voted to increase taxes on all Americans. He doesn't want to help anyone, he just wants your money. The following year, he voted to increase spending on education. That sounds expensive. Worst of all, Gregory wasn't even a 90s kid. For president, you want someone like Tyler Matthews, who was born in 1991. He was a kid in the 90s, just like you. He's the perfect candidate because he knows all the words to the Fresh Prince theme song. If someone starts the song, he literally has to finish it. He's the most relatable candidate. As a child, Matthews owned a father. Matthews had a rough childhood. In a recent interview, he said, I never got to get slimed on Nickelodeon, but I always really wanted to. Gregory, on the other hand, was born in 1997. He was only alive for three years in the 90s. Not a 90s kid. When asked what his favorite Pokemon was, he answered something not in the original 150. Not a 90s kid. Can you believe Gregory's never even had Dunkaroos? <laughs> Isn't it clear that Tyler Matthews is the right choice? What are his stances, you might ask? Does it really matter? He was a Legends of the Hidden Temple watching kid just like you. Vote for Tyler Matthews in 2032. His Tamagotchi didn't die, and neither will this country. Yeah, 
fat. Your mama's so fat that she. Your mama's so. Um. What in the heavens are you talking about? Why are you calling my daughter fat? Grandma, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm getting bullied at school. I'm just practicing my insults. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, dear. No, Grandma, that's not nice. I don't want to get bullied anymore. Say. Can you teach me how to curse like you curse at Grandpa? Of course, dear. But first, are you hungry? Would you like some cookies with the side of You're no good line, husband! Yeah! Later! <laughs> hey, what's up, police? How are you? So Yeah? <laughs> I'm practicing my grandma. Yeah? Practicing what? Being a loser? <laughs> My grandma, I'm gonna insult you. Ooh, we're so scared. What do you do? Cry like a big baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not the one who shits in adult diapers. <laughs> who even wears adult diapers? You suck at bingo. Your two day indentures don't even look real, and you're too frail to even walk down to the store and pick up Viagra for your erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Man, I don't know how the fuck you got my diary. <laughs> <laughs> Is all of that true? Do you really suck at bingo? <laughs> and the dentures and, and the Viagra? It's all true, I'm sorry I never told you. No! It's okay, man. It's true about me too. What? <laughs>
cool as shit. <laughs> People love things that are bad for them, so we need to start pushing peanut products with death. This is why we're going to launch a regulation to require big warning labels on peanut products because of peanut allergy related deaths. And separate peanut non peanut sections in restaurants, bars, floors and hotels, and workspaces. Now, I know what you're thinking. Scott, this is an amazing direction, we're sold, but uh, we can take this a little further. Sex sells. <laughs> we want peanut butter to be the hottest thing in America. Every movie sex scene will end with the actors eating a spoonful of peanut butter. And it won't stop there. Strip clubs will start handing out peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Production of peanut butter fetish porn will increase tenfold. <laughs> Trojan will start putting out peanut butter condoms. All right, but enough talk. Let's get to our new product line. The first product we're happy to introduce is peanut butter with nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> this is an exciting new product, as it will open many other doors to new products. Peanut butter nicotine free. <laughs> Addicted, and then we sell them the product to, the end, to end the addiction. But it won't stop there. Peanut butter flavored cigarettes. <laughs> Cigarette flavored peanut butter. <laughs> and of course, peanut butter patch and peanut butter gum. All right, now we have one final product that's an exciting new product. It's just been finished in the labs and it's finally ready for production. Introducing the first ever E peanut butter. Peanut uh, <laughs> peanut butter taste, but it's just vapor. No smoke, no chunks, no sticky mouth. It's going to be available in four flavors. Pea jar, pea spoon, pea cig, and pea BNJ. <laughs> Y ahora podemos regresar a su programa, La Resección de Jesús Cristo. Mis hermanos, Ricardo, Raúl, John, yo les regreso y yo estoy aquí para decirles sobre el cielo y el Dios. Miedo, mis hermanos, porque es su amigo, es Jesús. Jesús es real. Sí. Se murió de los manos, te vimos todos. Sí, es real. Mira, <risa> los dos en mis manos. Los, los dos Esta libertad. Y ahora vengan y díganles a todas las personas por qué es el real. Es ese que que está debajo de su toma. Jesús, ¿tú tienes un donor?
Maybe I'll bring someone home. So it isn't just me a good old Jerry the Gerbil here. <laughs> Sucks and oh my god, you're repeating skits. <laughs> Why? We get funding from the, uh, we have $300 from the SJA because uh, we write eight hours of new material every year. But you don't. Yeah, uh, we get a lot of money, so uh, I'm sure a substantial amount I can go to you to make sure you're quiet. $300? <laughs> Are you bribing me with less than $300? <laughs> I'm willing to offer you anything under $20. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a minimal amount of money. Plus, I'm an investigative writer for the stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like going to know. Damn it! <laughs> this just it. Austin has been repeating skits since 1982, and the Pulitzer Prize goes to me, Irwin, for exposing Austin. <laughs> I've come here to stop you. Get out of here, false cactus! No! You can't go through with this! You're being tricked! What? This is all a huge distraction! Did you come asking me one question? Um, what? You're the student's best investigative reporter! This is all a huge cover-up to stop you from asking the important question! What? That's the important question! What is the important question? Why is Fabio falling down? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> This. We have to sneak into B-118 at night to find out why Babby is falling. <laughs> okay, um, just as just long as this place is haunted. Uh, uh, it. It's not haunted. I just get scared sometimes. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It sounded like a falling brick. <laughs> ah! Ghost! I hear a ghost walking! Shh, quiet! Ghosts don't walk. <laughs> okay, so I was really quiet, but I can't promise that my teeth won't chatter and I will cry a little bit. And, and, and. Ah! I'm getting out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna write that into a skit we've done before. 
This is supposed to be so easy, Erwin. I was going to pretend that off center has been repeating sketches and the SGA would give us a hundred more dollars. That's not a lot of money! <laughs> we're going to go now. We're going to play detective. You have to find out why Badio is falling down. Why is it falling down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's why I came here to be 118 to figure it out. The you know, money from the SGA didn't get paid, so I came come here to blackmail them. Trapped in a labyrinth of twists and turns! <laughs> Who's that? Very good detective work. What? Yeah. President Farbardin! <laughs> That's right. It is me, President Farbardin, the whole time. What? <laughs> Don't you see? Fabio is all alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie to keep you from asking the important question. <laughs> what? That's the important question. What is the important question? Why is Steven becoming a worse school? <laughs> it's about skate shows and falling buildings. You'll never ask why an engineering school gave its best building to the business department. I introduced a paper called Software Engineering where its students have to learn CAD. You won't ask why rage sucked, and you won't ask and you won't care because you're distracted. Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's two things I don't understand. One, we like rage. And, and number two, we were still investigating. Why did you tell us the entire plan? Well, you can't expose Stevens. And why not? You're a five out of five. If you expose Stevens, your degree will be useless. Shit! <laughs> it won't matter. I'll write this in the stoop. Everyone will read it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody reads the stoop. <laughs> You're right. It's not over yet. I've been recording this whole conversation. I can blackmail the president. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to add fifty dollars. <laughs> Done. Yes. I finally get chips. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Don't make it. still doesn't make sense. <laughs> Nobody reads the stew. What? Nobody reads the stew. Nobody reads the stew. Stevens is bad! Uh-oh. The SGA sucks! Oh no! It's the same joke! It's been the same joke the whole time! No, it's Christian, Jeff, Kenny, Jason, Edge, Mo, 110. Yeah. Yeah.